Great. Um, any discussion? All those in favor indicate the same yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear no. Item B is resolution 2010-15, the Energy Efficient Schools Initiative Loan uh, for Newport Grammar School. Do you have that information in your uh, council package? Do we have a motion to approve that resolution? Do you need to read that, Terry? Okay. I'll make a motion to approve it. We have a second? I have a question. Yes. This is going to come straight from their budget. Yes. And it's not going to require us to raise their budget to pay this back. Not to my knowledge, it's not. It's just it's just the grammar schools, and we're just approving them getting the lot. Basically, what it reads is they've got a savings of ninety thousand dollars per year. Yes. So that looks like they'd be looking for an additional ten thousand. Yes. So I think it's a. It's going to be a positive word. Right. I'll say. Any other discussion? All those in favor indicate the same yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear no. Uh, the next four items is roadblocks. Uh, first one is the, the junior ROTC from Cobb County High School. And I think Terry brought to my attention that the dates on the orange sheets is 2010 and it should be 2011. Is that all our orange yeah. sheet? The uh, applications are all correct and can reflect the correct date. So, okay. Yeah. Didn't somebody could make a motion. I make a motion that we either approve or disapprove all of them at once. Okay, and the other three being uh, Cobb County Relay for Life is item D. The Pirateville Little League Football and Cheerleading is item E. And the True Life Holiness Church is item F. And I think I will we'll second that if Freddie will amend his to waive the six month. You know I'm going to do waiting that. period. I'll waive the six month waiting period. I'll second that. Any other discussion? Uh, I've got a discussion about the. Uh, uh, whenever the uh, ROTC, when they have their roadblocks, we this says that uh, what they did, and, I, and I'm not against them, but what they did, the kids went through the parking lots of the city and stuck up money and blocked traffic. Now we cannot, we can't have that. When it happened, I called the chief, and he said, "I'll take care of that." They say the reason they said they did it because they weren't old enough to stand out in the street. But you cannot, you can't let kids walk up down these streets in these parking lots and let cars almost hit them. The city's liable for that. They don't, wanna, yeah. they don't need to be doing that. No, no matter who it's it is. just a roadblock. And that, they need to be down there. Yes. Okay, that, that's only, I, I don't have a draft, but I just, that's, that's a safe way to do that is stay down on with her. Uh, Pointed place. Scott, we probably need to notify them. Their, their commander, or who he was, was the one told them to do that because I was sent up here to talk to the kids about it. They were walking the streets on the sidewalk and asked them why they were up there. They said they're, they're who he is, their commander, who he is over there, and told them to do that. And I told them they needed to go back to their crew, group, and their family and see what they doing. Did they do it anymore? No, not that. You know, I talked to them, they all left and walked from Fuji up this way down and, and met back down here at the, at the law range with the rest of them. But he needs to be one they be told, you know, you don't need to be telling the young the kids to go out and do that. Right. So that's who they told me, he said that they, he sent them out to do that. Right. Any other comments? All those in favor indicate the saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear no. Uh, there's no bids or purchases. Uh, Got a question the there under that though, Connie. Where, where do we stand on the dump truck for the street department? The, uh, we just haven't purchased it yet. Have we got bids or anything on it yet? No, sir. I don't think we've taken the bids yet. And we're holding off on the garbage trucks because of waiting on the station to be built, right? Yes, sir. So the dump truck we could buy any time? Any time, yes, sir. 
And then we got we got one question about the street department's got a seven hundred dollar bucket that they need to buy for the backhoe. Hello. But there's a freeze on, okay. on okay. buying anything. Can we not afford a seven hundred dollar bucket for yes. a backhoe? We're sure can. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, this is not on the agenda officially, but Bill, would you like to introduce the guy to say a few words and introduce himself? I'd like to introduce uh, Bill Dennis. I'll let him speak about what the man. I appreciate all that. He's just kind of stood before me. And I thought I'd save him an extra trip. So I'll turn it over to him and he'll explain what all, what all this is about. Thank you, Bill. Okay, you're right. Uh, I have a handout. Could I just. Uh, Bring the hand up, hand up to the council. Yes. Come on, Captain, go, go with the mic. You got mine. Yeah, it's, it's really the same. Or similar. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Yes, you are. Council members, uh, thank you for this opportunity. It'll just be, I'll be very brief. Uh, we propose, a, we work with police departments uh, to provide a traffic calming program, which is just another word saying where there's chronic speeding going on, we provide equipment, software, a work process and services that provides consistent enforcement. Consistent enforcement is the only thing that changes driver behavior. The way traffic enforcement is currently done and has always been done is if an officer goes in a chronic speed area, he detects a speeder. When he does, he comes out of enforcement. And then he spends the next 15 minutes doing a clerical but very dangerous uh, personal service of the ticket on the side of the road. The two problems with that is one, he comes out of enforcement and he doesn't change driver behavior because the next 10 speeders go by undetected. And the second is that there's approximately each year 30 officers that lose their life in the line of duty doing traffic enforcement nationwide. So if it was any other industry, it would have been shut down because the person doing the job for the for public safety actually can't do his job the way we would like it, which is to change driver behavior, and plus there's injury and death that results from him doing the job. So technology and a change in the work process allows for the job to be done differently. We, as a private company, we invest our money into a program that the Newport Police Department would undertake. They would identify a chronic speeding area. We would provide a vehicle. We would provide equipment, which is a radar unit and cameras. We ask, and it doesn't have to be done this way, but we prefer for an officer to be with the equipment. So there's officer eyewitness of the violation. He captures a much better or more robust evidence package that's replayable in court. And the real difference and the most radical thing that I'm proposing here tonight is that the ticket